Spatial Isomers and Properties of Isomers Geometrical isomers must contain a carbon-carbon double bond. They have the same covalent arrangements but different in spatial arrangements due to the restricted rotation at the double bond. Geometrical isomers are referred to as either cis or tran. For cis, the two CH3 groups are on the same side. For trans, the two CH3 groups are on opposite sides. Conformational isomers are molecules with atoms or groups on at least one carbon center and have different spatial orientations. Any rotation of the carbon will generate a different spatial arrangement of the groups on that carbon. So this and this, these are our two isomers. And let's look at the one on the left. We have the black carbon up top, the blue one kind of southwest, and the green one eh, sort of east. We rotate them in a counterclockwise direction about the carbon center. So the black hydrogen now is off to the left. This blue hydrogen is on the bottom now. And the green one, which was east or a little southeast, is now moved up here to northeast. So they've rotated counterclockwise. Nothing happened to the carbon atom down below. And another way of showing it here, the red propeller, that's the bottom carbon, and hopefully you can see where that hasn't changed at all. It's still pointing mostly up. However, the black one, which is representing the top here, has rotated in a counterclockwise direction. Example one, which two molecules are conformational isomers? Molecules one and four are conformational isomers. The top CH3 group over here is rotated counterclockwise and here, let me erase that. So you can see the counterclockwise rotation where here, that peak there, that was this one that was rotated counterclockwise from molecule one. There are two types of optical isomers. In both cases, they cannot be superimposed on each other. Enantiomers have different three-dimensional spatial arrangement of groups and are mirror images. Diastereomers have different spatial arrangements of groups on multiple carbon atoms and are not mirror images. Enantiomers are isomers that are mirror images and cannot be superimposed on each other. So picture this as a mirror and then take this molecule and rotate it out of the page and put it in front of the mirror. You will then see this picture in the mirror. So they're mirror images, but you can't stick them on top of each other very much like your left and right hand. If you put your left and right hand, one on top of the other, both palms facing up, you'll see the thumb is on the right side on one of them and the left side on the other side. So, same thing true for the enantiomers. Enantiomers differ in spatial arrangement around an asymmetric carbon, resulting in molecules that are mirror images, like left and right hands. The asymmetric carbon atom will have four different atoms or groups connected to it. The two isomers are designated L and D isomers from the Latin for left and right, levo and dextro. Objects that come in a left and a right, such as gloves, scissors, and shoes, are referred to as chiral objects. The carbon responsible for the existence of a left and right mirror image isomer in a molecule is known as the chiral carbon. The mirror image effect happens because the chiral carbon has four different constituents attached to it. Diastereomers are optical isomers with two or more chiral centers that are not mirror images of another stereoisomer with the same molecular formula. The only difference between these two molecules is that the bromine carbon bond, right over here, on the left molecule is into the page, and the bromine carbon bond on the right molecule is out of the page. This results in different chemical properties. These isomers are referred to as optical isomers because they rotate polarized light differently. Different enantiomers will have different biological effects. For example, many amino acids have optical isomers. Since the L enantiomer of amino acids is more prevalent in nature, Living organisms have evolved to make use of the L-amino acids. Sugars exhibit optical isomerism. 
only one of the isomers is used by biological organisms. Unlike amino acids, it is the D enantiomer that dominates for sugars. L-glucose does not occur naturally in higher living organisms. However, it can be synthesized in the lab. While L-glucose tastes the same as D-glucose, it cannot be used as a source of energy in biological systems. Properties of isomers, and we'll start with positional isomers. Their properties will vary depending on the functional group and where it is located. For example, two isomers of C4H9OH will have different boiling points based on where the hydroxyl group is located. The isomer with the hydroxyl group on a terminal carbon will have the higher boiling point. The intermolecular forces in this isomer will be greater. The isomer with the hydroxyl group on a central carbon will have the lower boiling point. This is due to the same effect as branching. The London dispersion forces are less than the straight chain alcohol. Consider the formula C2H6O. We could draw one isomer as an alcohol. We could also draw an ether with the same formula. The alcohol is going to have the higher boiling point. The hydroxyl group makes the molecule polar and it has hydrogen bonding. The ether is essentially nonpolar. It would only have London dispersion forces. Straight chain isomers will have higher boiling points than their branch counterparts. Here's hexane, 69 degrees Celsius, and here's menthol pentane, 60 degrees Celsius. A similar generalization can be made for structural isomers. Straight chain will have higher boiling points than cyclic, since cyclic isomers will not stack well. Straight chain isomers will have higher melting points than their branch counterparts. Here's the straight chain, melting point of pentane, minus 95 Celsius, and melting point of methyl butane, minus 154 Celsius. A similar generalization can be made for structural isomers. Straight chain will have higher melting points than cyclic, since cyclic isomers will not stack well. Straight chain isomers are more polarizable and will have greater London dispersion attractions than the branched isomers with the same number of carbons. Straight chain isomers have a greater surface area, which allows for better stacking than the almost spherical branched isomers.